Much of my Lord Mayor role is about maintaining historic tradition, and I've enjoyed many carol services, as well as sharing in the celebrations of Hanukkah and Navratri, exploring Sikh history and visiting the mosque. This has led me to reflect on the meaning of Christmas in our multicultural city. Jesus was born in a manger, as there was no room at the inn or anywhere else in Bethlehem. It is impossible not to see the parallels between the situation of Mary, Joseph and Jesus and that of the Afghan refugees and asylum seekers here in Exeter. I am proud of the welcome Exeter City Council and Devon County Council have given to the 69 Afghan refugees currently living in a bridging hotel in Exeter under the British Government Resettlement Scheme, which was quickly set up after the fall of Afghanistan to the Taliban. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, verse 40, tells us that Jesus said, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you did for me. Christmas is about sharing our good fortune with our family, friends, and all those in need. Jesus saw everyone as of equal worth as a human being, regardless of ability, disability, status or lack of, power or powerlessness. The themes of celebration and goodwill to all men and women and provision for those in need echo through all the world religions and all of them celebrate a festival of light in the cold, dark winter months. I've been lucky to be able to attend so many of these celebrations and to have met so many different people from different cultures and walks of life. I've had the pleasure of meeting the High Sheriff, the Bishop of Exeter, the Dean and Chapter of Exeter Cathedral, David Thursden, our Lord Lieutenant, and commanding officers and serving military from our armed forces, as well as local business owners and staff historians and volunteers working with a host of different local charities and community groups. Music has played a huge part in my time as Lord Mayor. It has been a delight to attend performances by so many. This musical extravaganza has been the soundtrack to my mayoral year and my gratitude goes out to each and every performer. I've also been able to explore Exeter's history through our historic buildings, our own historic Guildhall, the Turk's Head Pub, St Nicholas Priory, Tucker's Hall and our Cathedral, all within minutes walk of each other. This has been a great joy. I urge you all to visit these buildings where you'll be welcomed and guided round all free of charge. Queen Elizabeth II has been a constant throughout my life. The Lord Mayoralty was gifted to Exeter from the Queen by letters patent in 2002. This is why I serve as a Lord Mayor, not a Mayor. The Queen has given loyal and dignified service over so many years and is a true defender of the faith which we celebrate at Christmas. On a sunny morning last July, outside the cathedral, I had the unexpected and splendid duty of welcoming Prince Charles to Exeter. And, more recently, I represented Exeter at the Rifles Biannual Achievement Awards in London Guildhall, alongside some of the royal family. My most moving memory from the year is being part of Remembrance Sunday at Northern Hay Gardens before laying a wreath on behalf of the citizens of Exeter, I recited the well-known emotional words of the Kahima epitaph and the exhortation. This was an honor I never expected to have. I've chosen to raise funds this year for Inclusive Exeter, a small group who welcome and integrate people of different cultures in Exeter and who play a vital role in supporting black and ethnic minority residents, including our recently arrived Afghan refugees. Sincere thanks go to all who have gone above and beyond what I ever expected in their support for the charity. My thanks also go out to my mayoral support team, 
Democratic Services and all Exeter City Council officers, my fellow councillors, the past Lord Mayor Peter Holland, my friends and my family, Rob, Joe, Luke, Aaron and Mark. They have supported me to carry out the Lord Mayor role, a vital and important part of Exeter's history and tradition. It has been a difficult year for us all because of COVID. I'm sad that the Deputy Lord Mayor has not been able to attend events due to illness and my thoughts and love go out to him and his family. I wish all of them and all of you a Merry Christmas and a peaceful New Year.